What if I told you that the most extraordinary treasure you possess is yourself? Imagine this. Your life, your abilities, and the choices you make form the most precious assets you'll ever have. Isn't it then crucial to unlock your full potential and transform into the best version of yourself? You possess an endless ability to learn, evolve, and achieve greatness. It's never too late. People in their 70s are graduating from high school and college, continuously improving and mastering new skills. Keeping your mind sharp ensures you can learn and retain information for years to come. Consider this. Your power to earn income is your golden ticket in the financial world. Your capability to work, more than anything else, is what will sustain you financially throughout your life. Life can be unpredictable. Anyone might find themselves without a home, a car, or a penny to their name. But with the ability to work, you have the power to rebuild and even surpass your previous achievements. Isn't it remarkable how resilient and capable you truly are? Your earning power is your biggest investment. Most people don't understand this because they take it for granted. It took you your whole life to build it. You have built this product with all the schooling, experience and hard work you have put into learning your job and getting better at it. Your ability to make money is a lot like a muscle. If you work it out regularly, it can get stronger and bigger every year. In the same way, the reverse is also true. If you don't work on your earning potential, it can get lower or even go down because you haven't been improving it regularly. You can either see your income potential as an object that goes up or down in value. An increasing asset is something that keeps getting better and more valuable over time, bringing in more money every year. A depreciating asset, on the other hand, is something that loses value over time until it is written off because it is no longer worth much. You can choose whether your ability to make money is getting better or worse every month and every year. Imagine that you are the CEO of your own personal services company. Let's say you want to sell shares in your company on the stock market. Would you recommend your company as a growth stock? meaning that its value and ability to make money keep going up every year? Or would you say that it has leveled off in the market and isn't really going anywhere in terms of value and income growth? Do you think that investing in U Inc. stock would be a good idea? If not, why not? You won't get anywhere from where you are now. Because they don't keep learning new things, some people are actually losing value every year and becoming less able to make money. They don't understand that the skills and information they have now are quickly becoming useless because new ones are coming out all the time. If you don't have the new ones and someone else does, you could lose ground to your competitors, become part of the top 20%. When it comes to money, the 80-20 rule says that the top 20% of earners and owners of assets control 80% of all assets. This is supported by Forbes, Fortune, Business Week, The Wall Street Journal, and the IRS. Many people think that the richest 1% of Americans own as much as 33% of all the assets in the country. Most millionaires, multimillionaires, and billionaires in the United States are first generation. This is the most interesting fact about income inequality. They had almost no money to begin with and made it all on their own in one lifetime. A lot of people can move up or down in income levels in the United States. Most of the people in the top 20% today were in the bottom 20% at some point. After that, they started to spend their time differently, which put them firmly on the path to financial success. You can do anything you want. In the United States, the average pay rises about 3% a year, which is about the same rate as inflation and cost of living rises. When someone's pay goes up by 3% a year, they rarely get ahead. If you think about it, their job could also mean just over broke. But the truth is that no one is smarter or better than you. If someone is doing better than you right now, it just means they have learned how the law of cause and effect works in their work and have started doing the things that other great people have done. 
How to use the law of cause and effect in your everyday life is to learn and do. You can choose to be excellent at what you do, or you can choose not to. If you don't commit to being excellent in what you do, you will automatically settle for average or even mediocre performance. No one gets better by chance or by just going to work every day. To be excellent, you have to make a firm choice and stay committed for life. The keys to the 21st century are skill and knowledge. You have to be self-disciplined your whole life if you want to be the best person you can be and reach the top of your field. If you want to get fit, both your body and your mind, you have to work at them all the time. Don't ever stop. That means you have to keep learning and growing every day, week and month in your job and other parts of your life if you want to stay in the top 20%. To earn more, you must learn more. Abraham Lincoln said, The fact that some have become wealthy is proof that others may do it as well. What others have done, you can do as well, if you learn how. Everyone who is now successful started out just like you. Many people who grew up in normal or poor homes with average wages or who went through everything have gone on to become famous in their fields. You can do what hundreds of thousands or even millions of other people have done. This is something that scientist Bertrand Russell said, the best proof that something can be done is that someone else has already done it. There are many times when you see people who don't seem as smart or skilled as you are, but are still doing amazing things with their lives. Watching someone who looks stupider than you do, better than you, will make you more angry than anything else. How is this possible? It's easy to explain. They knew that personal and professional progress was the key to success at some point in their lives. They were successful because they were committed to learning new things all their lives. The good news is that you can learn almost any important skill. It is possible to learn any business skill. Everyone who is good at something in business used to know nothing about it. You can learn any sales skill. Even the best salespeople started out as starters who couldn't make calls or close deals. Anyone can learn how to make money. Almost everyone who is rich used to be poor. You can learn anything you want to reach your goal. Choose. The first step to becoming one of the best, most recognized and highest paid people in your field is easy. Choose something. Someone once said that every big change in your life happens when you have a new thought and decide to do something different. You decide whether to finish school, get better at something, or get into a good college. You choose to begin a new business, go after a certain job, or begin a certain career. In particular, you choose to be the best at what you do by deciding to spend your money in a certain way. Wishing and praying is not enough, as we talked about in Chapter 4. A lot of people say they want to be happy, healthy, thin, and rich. You have to be very clear that you are willing to pay any price and go any distance to reach your goals. After making that choice, you need to burn all mental bridges with those people. After that, you decide to keep improving yourself and your skill until you're in the top 20% or higher. Not the people who follow, but the people who lead. If you want to be one of the best at what you do, look around and see who the top people are. What are some things they have in common? How do they make plans for their days? What do they wear? How do they talk, walk, and act around other people? What do they read? What do they like to do in their free time? With whom do they hang out? What kinds of classes did they take? What kinds of music do they play in their cars? These are some things you can ask to find out what Greek people do that you might want to take up yourself. In the end, you can't hit something you can't see. The people you choose as role models can have a huge effect on your future. Harvard professor and author of The Achieving Society, Dr. David McClelland, came to the conclusion that the reference group you choose can affect your success in life by up to 95%.
Your reference group is made up of people who you think are just like me. It's normal for you to take on the behaviors, beliefs, and ways of life of the people you most often hang out with and connect with. One of the people who came to my class years ago told me this story called Fly with the Eagles. Back when Bob Barton was in his 20s, he worked for a big company with 32 salespeople in his office. It was his first real job, and he began at the very bottom. He hung out with the other new salespeople because he was new. As the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. After about two months, Bob noticed that the best sellers in the office were also hanging out with each other. They didn't hang out with the new sellers. They also did different things with their time. The best sellers were already at work when Bob got there in the morning. They were planning their days, going over the phone and making meetings. The younger sellers would also come in later, read the newspaper, drink coffee and make reasons for not making sales calls, Bob saw. Bob decided that he would try to be like the best sellers in the company. He planned to dress and groom himself the same way they did after seeing how they did it. He would look at himself in the mirror every morning and ask, Do I look like one of the best salespeople in my office? If the answer was no, he would change his clothes until he thought he did. Before 8.30 a.m., he started to come into the office and plan his day to be ready to call his clients as soon as they were free to meet with him. One day, Bob asked one of the best sellers what book or radio program he thought would help him. It turns out that great people are always ready to help others get better. Bob went out and bought the book and the radio program as soon as he got the suggestion. After reading the book and listening to the show, he told the top seller what he had learned. This time, the best seller told him more things to read and listen to, which Bob did. When Bob asked another seller how he planned his day, that person showed him how he kept track of time. Bob started to order his day like the best sellers did. Bob began to make more meetings, meet more leads, and make more sales after taking these top salespeople as examples and trying to be like them all the time. He quickly became one of the best sellers in the office and it only took six months. By that time, the best sellers had asked him to coffee and lunch, and he stopped being one of the less experienced people and started being one of them. Bob met a lot of important people from all over the country at the national sales meeting the following year. He went out of his way to find them and asked for their advice. What books did they think he should read? What kinds of audiobooks do they suggest? What kinds of workshops did they go to? What did they experiment with and find worked best to grow their sales business? When Bob got advice, he did something that not many people do. They took it. He followed the advice right away and then told the people who gave it to him what he had done. Bob rose to become one of the best sellers in the country in just four years. People he knew and worked with were the other top sellers in his branch and the other branches. His wealth had grown by a lot. He wore nice clothes, drove a brand new car, lived in a beautiful house, and had a great wife. He said that everything happened because he asked the best salespeople for advice and then used what they said in his own sales efforts. However, the most important thing is that the top people, the ones who won sales awards every year, kept telling Bob the same thing. He was the first person who had ever asked them for help. They had never been asked by anyone else why they were so good. Every answer has been found. A great finding has been made. All the answers and ways to be successful have been found. A lot of people, maybe even thousands, have already learned everything you need to know to get to the top of your field. If you ask them for help, they will give it to you. To help other people be successful, successful people will put their work on hold, stop other plans, and have their calls put on hold. You must first ask them for help, and then you must do what they say. There's no better way to learn about them than to read their books and go to their talks and workshops. Listen to podcasts that were made by famous people. You can email them and ask for help sometimes. Aim for a high pay and learn from the best.
Find out how much the top 20% of earners in your field are making now if you want to be in that group. This information is easy to find. Just ask around, look at data for the business, or use Google. You can look for this information and find it. Once you know how much money you want to make, write it down as your goal. Plan how you're going to make this much money and work on it every day. Don't give up until you get there. To make a lot of money in sales and business, all you have to do is learn by doing, like jacking up a car, one step forward at a time. When you learn and use a new skill, it makes you more likely to make money, and it stays that way. As long as you keep getting better at making money, you'll keep moving up until you reach a level where you rarely go back down. Investing in yourself with the 3% method will ensure your success for life. Make the choice right now to put 3% of your income back into yourself. The American Society for Training and Development says this is the magic number for learning from childhood to old age. This is how much the 20% of companies in every field that make the most money spend in their employees' training and growth. Today, decide to put 3% of your income into yourself to turn yourself into an asset that will improve in value and help you keep making more money. If your goal for yearly income is $50,000, make a promise to put $1,500, or 3% of that amount, back into yourself every year to keep your skills and knowledge up to date. For example, if your goal income is $100,000, promise to put $3,000 back into yourself every year until you hit that amount of income. The reward is really great. A few years ago, I was giving a class in Detroit. During a break, a young man about 30 years old came up to me. He told me that about 10 years ago, he came to my class for the first time and heard my 3% rule. In that moment, he had quit college, was living at home, drove an old car, and made around $20,000 a year as an office-to-office -office marketer. He chose right after the lecture to use the 3% rule on himself, and he did so right away. He figured that 3% of his $20,000 pay, or $600, would be that amount. Every day he read the books he bought on sale. He bought two radio programs to help him learn how to organize his time and make sales. He took one class on how to sell. He spent the whole $600 on himself to change and get better. In that one year, his income went from $20,000 to $30,000 which is a boost of 50%. He said that the rise was directly linked to what he had learned and used from the books and radio programs he had read and listened to. So, the next year, he put $300, or 3% of $30,000, back into himself. His pay went from $30,000 to $50,000 that year. He started to consider, if my income goes up at 50% per year, by investing 3% back into myself, what would happen if I invested 5%? The following year, he put $2,500, or 5% of his pay, into his study program. In order to learn more, he went to more conferences across the country, bought more radio and video learning tools, and even hired a part-time guide. That same year, he made twice as much money, or $100,000. He then chose to go all in, and his investment in himself went up to 10% per year. This was just plain Texas Hold'em. He told me that since then he had been doing this. I inquired, how has investing 10% of your income back into yourself affected your income? He smiled and stated, I passed a million dollars in personal income last year and I still invest 10% of my income in myself every single year. I stated, wow, that's a lot of money. How do you manage to spend that much money on personal development? He replied, it's hard. I have to start spending money on myself in January in order to invest it all by the end of the year. I have an image coach, a sales coach, and a speaking coach. I have a large library in my home with every book, 
audio program and video program on sales and personal success I can find. I attend conferences, both nationally and internationally, in my field, and my income keeps going up every year. To be the best, just follow these three easy steps. More than anything else, focus and hard work are what you need to become one of the best in your field. Follow these three easy steps to become the best at what you do. 1. Read every day for an hour about your field. Turn off the TV and radio and put down the newspaper. Every day before you go to work, read something related to your field for an hour. 2. Use your car to listen to useful audiobooks. You can pause and play them while you listen to. Give yourself time to think about what you heard and how you can use the ideas in your work. 3. Take several classes and workshops a year in your field. Find them. You can take online classes from the comfort of your own home. These classes will help you improve your skills and give you useful ideas that you can use to achieve even greater success. As with compound interest, the power of learning that builds on itself is truly amazing. You can learn even more as you get better. Because you learn more, your brain works better and you become smarter. Your ability to remember things gets better. You find links between things you've learned over time as you gain more knowledge. Keep learning and growing all the time. To become a master. How long does it take to become a master in your field? Experts say that success takes about seven years or 10,000 hours of hard work. Soar through the sales world for seven years. Becoming a great business person takes seven years. It takes seven years of hard work to become a great truck driver. It takes seven years of hard work to become a great brain surgeon. To get to the top of any area, it seems to take seven years or 10,000 hours of hard work. That being said, you should start. Time will go by anyway. If you want to achieve success, you must first resolve to be the best. People who set a goal to be in the top 20% of their field have always been able to reach that goal. And I never met someone who got there without making that choice. It's important to make a choice and then keep taking consistent, deliberate and organized action. Skills alone are not enough. Because of what Jeffrey Colvin says in his best-selling book, Talent is Overrated, most people learn how to do their job in the first year and then never get better at it. They don't do much at work, but you can only coast downhill. A lot of people will work at the same job for years and never get ahead. They work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but they never do anything to improve their skills. These people won't spend any time learning their skill unless their company pays for it and gives them time off to do it. The average person has an average job, so they make an average pay and worry about money their whole lives. He doesn't understand that there is often only a thin line between a good person and an average person. You're getting worse if you're not getting better. People move around a lot. You can get to the top in two hours a day. If you want to go from being normal to being excellent, you only need to put in about two extra hours a day. Don't worry about money your whole life. With just two extra hours a day, you can become one of the best paid people in your field. Where am I going to get an extra two hours each day? Is the first question everyone asks. Write down the number of hours in a week. Seven days times 24 hours. 168 hours. You have 72 hours left over after taking out the 40 hours for work and the 56 hours for sleep. Three hours a day, or 21 hours, are taken away for getting ready for work and going to and from work. That leaves you with 51 hours to do whatever you want. You still have 37 hours left over if you give yourself two hours a day or 14 hours a week. That gives you more than five hours of free time every day. You can go from normal performance to great performance at anything you choose to do if you set aside two hours a day. Make it a habit to keep learning. Good news. You quickly get into the habit of always learning when you start reading books on personal or professional development, listening to audio programs in your car, 
taking extra classes and improving your skills in the evenings and on the weekends instead of watching TV. It will be easy and natural for you to learn new things and improve your skills every day and every week in no time. About five hours of TV are watched by most adults every day. It takes seven or eight hours for some people. The TV is on first thing in the morning and they watch it until they have to leave for work. When they get home from work, they turn it back on. Then they watch TV until 11 or 12 o'clock at night, which means they don't get enough sleep when they go to bed. Then they wake up in the morning, drink coffee, and watch TV for as long as they can before going back to work. You choose whether to be rich or poor. The TV you have can make you rich or poor. It will make you poor if you watch it all the time. Researchers in psychology have found that watching more TV makes you feel less energetic and less good about your own self-worth. There's a part of you that doesn't like or respect yourself as much when you watch TV for hours on end. Because they sit around too much, people who watch too much TV also gain weight and get out of shape. You can get rich with your TV too, but only if you turn it off. That time you used to spend watching TV is now yours to use to improve yourself and become smarter or more skilled. Laughter, talking, sharing and speaking will happen more often when you turn off the TV when you're with your family. When you turn off the TV for long periods of time, you stop watching it automatically and you most likely won't miss it at all. Even though your TV can be a great helper, it's not a good boss. You can make your choice. Boost your pay by a thousand times. A simple seven-step method can help you make a thousand times more money over the next 10 years in terms of output, performance, and efficiency. Everyone who tries it succeeds. It's easy. You should first answer this question. Is it possible for you to boost your general output, performance, and efficiency by 0.11% or one thousandth in a single workday? Most likely, you will say yes. It would be easy for you to get one thousandth more done in a day if you were to better handle your time and focus on more important tasks. After doing this for one day, could you make 10% more the next day? Of course, the answer is yes. Could you keep up the one percent improvement in your success that you made on Monday and Tuesday for Wednesday, Thursday? and Friday? Once more, the answer is yes. One-tenth of one percent times five days a week means one-half of one percent per week. Does a normal, smart, hard-working person have the ability to boost their output by 0.5 percent or a tenth in just one week? Yes, of course it is. If you did this for a week, could you keep up the same level of personal growth for another week? Yes, you could. For one month, work on getting 0.0001% better five days a week. These numbers show that you would be 0.5% better each week, times four, which equals 2% more productive in a month if you could. A year is made up of 13 four-week months. 52 is equal to four times 13. Did you get 2% better in one month? If so, could you do it again the next month? the third month, the fourth month, and so on. Yes, you could. You can be 26% more effective over the course of a year if you work on yourself every day by learning new skills, getting better at your most important tasks, setting goals, and focused on more important tasks. If you reached this goal the first time, could you do it again the next year? And then the third? Could you do it for 10 years? Of course, the answer is yes. The good news is that it gets easier to get better over time if you keep working on yourself. If you keep making small improvements over time, you will be 26% better after 12 months. This is called the law of accumulation. If you keep getting better at a rate of 26% per year, you could be 1,040% more effective in 10 years. This is called compounding. The rate at which your pay grows would stay the same. You can use this method if you do. To get a thousand percent, you need to follow seven steps. 
Step 1. Get up two hours before your first meeting or need to be at work. Spend the first hour reading something that will teach you something, inspire you, or touch your soul. One person, Henry Ward Beecher, said, The first hour is the rudder of the day. If you take the time to do something nice for yourself in the morning, you'll be happy all day. All day, you'll feel better, be more awake, be more creative, and get more done. If you spend the first hour of your day working on yourself, reading books in your field for that hour every day, that adds up to about one book every week. That's 50 books a year if you read one book a week. Most adults read less than one non-fiction book a year. Do you believe that reading 50 books a year about your subject would help you do better at your job? In your business, do you think it would put you ahead of almost everyone else? Yes, of course it would. That's 500 books if you read 50 each year for 10 years. That would help you get more done, make more money, and be more productive. You could afford to get a bigger house just to fit all of your books. Three to five years of reading one hour a day in your field will make you an expert in the whole country. Just this one thing can give you a thousand percent raise over the course of your work. Second, write down your goals again every day. Get a spiral pad and write down your main goals again in the present tense every morning before you go to work. Don't look at what you wrote the day before. This process of writing and redoing is how you put directions into your mind's guide system. When you write down your 10 goals again every morning, you'll keep seeing and thinking of ways to reach them all day. You'll be able to focus, control, and direct yourself better. You'll be more focused and determined, and you'll reach your goals a lot faster than if they were just thoughts in the back of your mind. Over the course of 10 years, writing down and redoing your goals every day can help you make a thousand times as much money. Step 3. Make plans for each day ahead of time. Before you start, make a list of your work and decide what's most important. Setting goals and picking the most important thing to do at any given time is the key to getting your life in order and getting twice as much done. We'll go into more depth about how to handle your time in Chapter 12. If you work on your most important goals, you can improve your pay by 1,000% over 10 years, which is probably impossible to do without them. Fourth step, train yourself to focus on just one thing at a time. Pick the most important thing you can do every day and work on it first thing in the morning until it's done. Focusing and concentrating will help you double your output, performance and productivity in the next month and it will give you a 1000% increase over 10 years if you make it a habit. Fifth, listen to audiobooks that teach you things in your car. A business person who drives usually spends between 500 and 1,000 hours a year in their car. You can learn as much in your car as you would in one or two full-time college terms by turning it into a university on wheels or open-air school. A lot of people have gone from being poor to being rich by just listening to educational radio programs in their cars on the way to and from work. You could do the same thing. This could give you your 1,000% gain on its own. Sixth step. After every call or event, ask two secret questions. First, ask yourself, what did I do right? Then, ask yourself, what would I do differently? Note them down. What would I do differently? Is the second question that makes you think of all the ways you could do better in the same type of scenario. Also, write these thoughts down. That's because when you think about what you did well and what you would change about your performance, you train yourself to do even better next time. If you want to grow as a person quickly and effectively, this is one of the best routines I have ever found. This process speeds up the process of getting into the top 20% by a huge amount. Step 7. Treat each person you meet like they are worth a million dollars. Everyone you work with or meet should feel like the most important person in the world. This goes for both at home and at the job. 
People will treat you like you are useful and important if you treat them that way. Because of this, they will want to work for you, buy from you, and tell their friends about you. To start treating people like million-dollar customers, you should start with your family. Don't forget that they are the most important people in your life. So, if you make your family feel important and tell them you love them first thing in the morning, you'll be more upbeat, calm and happy all day. About 85% of your success will depend on how well-liked and respected you are, especially in sales and business. Always take the time to be nice to people. If you do these seven things every day for a month, your life, work and pay will change and get better in ways that will amaze you. After a month of consistent practice, you'll have formed a new habit of always getting better that will help you move forward for the rest of your life. For the best long-term personal growth and commitment to personal success, you need to have a lot of focus, willpower, and loyalty. Endocrine chemicals are released in your brain every time you learn and use something new. These chemicals make you feel good and excited about the future. Feeling more powerful will happen every time you learn and use something new. Your pride, self-respect, and sense of self-worth will all grow. One of the most important things in your life, your ability to make money, will feel very much in your hands. I learn that success doesn't just happen. It's also not a mistake to fail. I also learned that people who are successful in any field usually know how to get what they want by understanding the cause and effect links between those things. After that, they kept doing what other great people did until they got the same results. What I learned changed my whole life. You are the smartest and best person in the world. For now, they might be smarter or better in some ways. There's a good chance that someone is doing better than you right now because they figured out correlations between events before you did. You can also do anything that other people have done as long as you don't go too far. A good reason to believe you can reach a goal is to see that someone else has already done it. The best way to reach any goal you set for yourself is to work on your personal and professional growth. By learning how other people have done it before you and then following the paths they've already made, you can get from where you are to where you want to go. Some people only use 10% of their full ability, which you may have heard. The Stanford Brain Institute, on the other hand, says it's more like 2%. The average person has a huge amount of ability that they don't usually use. Nature is very kind and giving. Everyone has a lot of skills and opportunities that she gives them, but most of them are never used. You could probably double or even triple your results if you used just a small amount more of your natural skills. You could do things that are much bigger than anything you've done before. You might be happy, better and richer than you thought possible. I think that everyone can make their life better in some way. I think that every person has a giant waiting to come out. I think that everyone can do a lot more than they have ever done before if they just learn how. That's what I value most. What's yours? Making a long-term plan for your personal growth is important. Picture yourself five or ten years from now and you've fully grown in every important area of your life. Imagine and believe that you are perfect in every way. Don't give up on your own personal dreams. How skilled or good at what would you be in your field? If you were really good at what you do, what amount of status and respect would you have reached? What kind of work would you be doing and how hard would it be that you are one of the best at what you do? What would you think and feel about yourself? Imagine that you had no limits on how you could grow in the coming months and years. What would your plan be? Step 2. Turn your idea into clear, measurable goals. Take out a piece of paper and write down 10 goals you want to reach in the next few months and years in terms of your personal and professional growth. What a great way to start. As if you were already the person you want to be, write in the present tense. Figure out exactly what you wish to be able to do. Pick out the person you want to become. 
Draw a picture of what you'll look like when you're really good at your job and in your personal life. Then, look over this list of 10 goals and pick the one that would make the biggest difference in your life and job if you reached it. Move the goal to a new piece of paper and draw a circle around it. Make a plan for how you will reach this goal. Set due dates for reaching certain goals. Add in extra due dates as well. Just think of all the things you need to do to be the best at that area and write them down. Set goals for each thing on your list to turn it into a plan. Get the books, papers, tools and other things you need to start working on yourself and your goal. Then start the process right away by doing at least one thing on your list. Make a commitment to take action in that area every day until you achieve success. Try to improve yourself all the time until you become the person you really want to be. Make sure you know how to reach each of your goals. Figure out how you'll know when you've reached your goal of being the best at what you do. Figure out how you will track your progress and judge your success. You might want to use the number of hours you study your field each week as a standard. Maybe you can keep track of how many books you read or how many audiobooks you listen to. You could track your growth by how many appointments you get or how many sales you make because your skills are getting better. You should regularly compare yourself to these standards. And the more you pay attention to your measurements, the better you will get at that thing and the more progress you will make. You start by figuring out what you believe in, what you want to achieve, what skills and information you need. You choose how you will track your progress toward each one. After that, you do something every day that makes you better. You read, take classes, listen to podcasts, and use the new skills you've learned. And always get better. Pick out the exact habits and actions you need to do every day to change into the person you want to be. These could be habits like being clear, planning ahead, being thorough, being a student, working hard, being determined, and not giving up. Self-discipline is one of the most important traits for success. The author Albert Hubbard said that self-discipline is being able to force yourself to do what you need to do when you need to do it, even if you don't want to. Self-discipline is what Napoleon Hill calls the master key to wealth. Self-discipline is something you need to do every day, all the time. If you want to do everything that is possible for you, you need to work on seven skills. Each of these skills can be learned by doing them over and over again until they come naturally. Here they are. First, the habit of setting goals every day. The second habit is making plans and organizing things every day. The third is making daily decisions about what to do first. Fourth is the practice of focusing on your most important tasks every day. Fifth is the habit of working out every day and eating right. Six is making time every day to learn and grow. Seventh is making time every day for the people who are most important to you. You will almost certainly perform at the best level and get the most pleasure and benefits from everything you do if you follow these seven rules. The formula for 1000%. There is an easy, useful and tried and true way to improve yourself that will help you double your income in the coming years. Most people who use this recipe every day say that their lives have gotten a lot better. Check it out for yourself. It's what I call the 1000% formula this 1000% method is based on the idea that things get better over time. No matter how driven or excited you are, things change and move forward slowly. You change into the person you are today over the course of your whole life. After a while of hard work and drive, you can change into someone else. Most of the time, quantum leaps don't lead to big, long-lasting changes. Over a long time, all lasting change happens step by step. You need to be patient and disciplined to make this kind of change. This is the only kind of change that is worth making and will last. The more you learn, study and improve your skills, the more you set clear goals, 
the more you focus on more important tasks, and the more you clarify your goals, the more you could increase your overall productivity, performance, and output by 0.1% every day, forever. If you work to be more productive in one area, you will probably be more productive in every other area as well. This is called the law of growing returns. You will get better over time and take less time each time you practice. If you get tenths of a percent more done every day for five days, you will be 50% more done at the end of the week. One tenth of a percent times five is 0 0.5, which is half a percent. 2% more work will be done by you after 4 weeks. That's 2%, which is 4 times 0.5%. 26% more productive than you were at the start of the year after 52 weeks. That's 13 4-week months times 2% per month, which adds up to 26%. This is where the benefit of new skills and information starts to add up. If you improve by 26% every year for 10 years, you will be 140% more productive in that time. Now, because we live in a merit-based culture, your pay will go up as you get better at adding value. When you raise your general performance by 104%, your income will finally go up to match the value of what you've added. Here are the seven steps in the 1000% method that will make you at least 0.11% better every day, 0.51% better every week, 2% better every month, and 26% better every year. Start by getting up two hours early and reading for an hour in your field. The golden hour sets the tone for the rest of the day. Turn off the TV and put the newspaper down. Take the first hour to think about and work on yourself. The day's direction is set by this hour. Second, write down your main goals again and go over them every morning before you start your day. Spend some time writing down your goals in the present tense as if you had already reached them in a spiral notebook. This sets them in your brain so that you are always on the lookout for chances to reach your goals. Third, make plans every day ahead of time. Ahead of time, before you leave for the day and go to bed, write down all the things you need to do. So, while you sleep, your inner mind can work on your list. When you wake up in the morning, you often have thoughts and ideas that will help you reach your daily goals more quickly and easily. Fourth, always focus on what will give you the most out of your time. Pick the one job that will make your work life better, the most, and start working on it first thing in the morning. 5. Listen to audiobooks that teach you things in your car. You can turn your car into a mobile school or a college on wheels. You should never let your car go anywhere without useful music playing. If you do this one thing, it will give you a thousand percent rise over the next few years. 6. Ask yourself two questions every time you do something. These questions really are magic because they help you learn and grow faster from everything that happens. The first question is, what did I do right? Second, what would I do differently? The law of attention says that whatever you focus on grows in your life. Your life gets better as you pay attention to it. It's said that what you focus on makes you better at it. You should treat every person you meet like a million dollar customer. This is the seventh and final part of the thousand percent method. You should treat your co-workers the same way you would treat an important client. Feel like every potential customer or prospect bought a million dollars worth of what your business sells and wants to do it again. You should treat your family and friends like they are the most important people in the world, because they are. Remember that the best thing you have is yourself. Your ability to make money is the most important thing about you. You should work on improving yourself every day so that you can make even more money. As of right now, you have the power to change yourself so that you can reach all of your emotional and financial goals and become everything you can be. One and a half percent of people start their first job as adults, so it's like a long race. There is a big race and everyone lines up. The gun goes off 
and everyone starts running. After that, some people get ahead, just like in a run. In this case, most people stay in the middle of the wage race, but some people fall far behind. I think this is one of the best studies on success that has ever been done. It was done over 25 years. They want to know how these people are making so much money. Every month they get paid almost a million dollars just for going to work. For any reason, if they lost their job, another company would hire them right away and pay them $10 million a year. How is this possible? When these researchers from a big university went back, they thought, wow, these people must be very smart. They must have unique skills. For them to be so great in life, they must have some special skills or traits. They looked at their school records, as well as records from their first and second jobs. What did they find? In general, these people were fine. They didn't look any different from everyone else when they first started working. They were just okay. After that though, they all started to use the same plan. And this plan will make a huge difference in your life and work. It's really that easy. When these people started their first job, the first thing they did was ask their boss, Boss, I want to make a valuable contribution at this work and be successful in this company. What one skill would help me the most to be more successful and make a more valuable contribution? The boss would reply, Well, if you were very good at this, negotiating, building teams, selling or reading financial statements, if you were R, they would then go to work and work on this one skill, like a shooter instead of a machine gunner. They would work on one skill at a time. It could take a month, three months, or a year, but they would work on that skill every day. This is the magic number. Two hours a day, five days a week, for a total of 10 hours, was the magic amount. You should work on one skill for two hours every day, five days a week. These days, knowledge and skill are very important to your success. With knowledge and skill, you can make money. It is very important that you know what you're talking about and can use that knowledge to get people to pay you for what you do. The people who lose their jobs don't realize that they haven't kept their skills and information up to date enough to support their pay, but they are becoming less useful faster than ever. So, a job that is useful now might not be useful in a week, a month, or a year. In just a few years, new technology can make an entire business useless. So, one thing you should always ask yourself is, what will be your next job? Here's the most important question. What do you need to do right now to improve your skills so that you can make the money and live the way you want to in your next job? Personal success is the key to your next job. Getting to the top of the heap or the field is the goal. Once you get there, you want to stay there to keep and improve your lifestyle. What should you do? Who do you need to be? Question. What one or two skills could you learn that, if you got really good at them, would have the most positive effect on your future? This is one of my favorite questions of all time. That's your job. If you need to, you can ask your boss what it might be, but you should do everything you can to find out. Then, you should work on developing those skills. Now, you have to become a victim of change if you don't want to be a master of it. Because if you don't take charge of your life, it will take over your life. You're just tossed around by the waves of life. The most important thing we've talked about so far when it comes to making potential, speeding up your job, reaching your full potential, and becoming everything you're capable of becoming, is that you should always be learning. This is so important that I can't say it enough. Everywhere I go, I meet people who have nothing when they first come to America. But by constantly learning, they're able to do great things and make great lives for themselves. Take charge of your life. Think of yourself as the boss of your own business. Think of yourself as a boss. Make the rules for your world. Teach your kids how to behave. If you want your kids to have a great life, you should make your own great by learning new things all the time. As a boss, you should see yourself as an example 
hold yourself to high standards and work every day to keep, grow and improve your ability to make money. That means a week has 168 hours. Wonderful. For those of you who want to be the best at what you do, make the most money and be the most famous person in the world, spend 10 hours of that time on yourself. That's it. This was the plan used by all the top people I've worked with, including the heads of some of the world's biggest businesses. They also learn and improve their skills for two to three hours a week. Who is the third richest person in the world? The name of the person is Warren Buffett. His investments were worth a total of $350 billion last year, making him the third or fourth richest person in the United States and one of the richest people in the world. His earnings were $25 billion last year. Also, $25 billion is a lot of money. That's enough money for one person to build a business that makes $25 billion a year. And almost every day, Warren Buffett does the same things. Every day when he gets to work, he spends 80% of his time learning and reading things that are related to his job. Only 20% are meeting, calling, or doing something else. He learns new things 80% of the time so that he can make better choices and get better results. So, here's a question I sometimes ask adults. How many hours do you spend learning new things each week to make yourself more valuable and productive? They learned that these experts, who were paid a lot, saw their ability to make money as a ladder with steps that represent different skills. And learning a new skill makes it easier for you to make money. On top of that, you get better at using your other skills. And the more skills you have, the more money you can make. And when you learn something new, you can make more money. You will become more useful as you learn new skills, and people will pay you more and more money for the work you do for them. If you decide to stop moving up the success ladder at any time, you will level off, just like 80% of other people do. But after that, you'll start to fall behind because the skills you have are quickly becoming useless, and they're useless faster now than ever before. That means that if you're not constantly going up the ladder, you're going down it, and people don't know why their money isn't getting better. This is because they aren't getting anything done. They're not getting better at anything. There is no work being done on them to make them more popular. So, the best way to get ahead in life and become rich is to learn how to make more money. Each week they learn new skills for at least 10 hours. This is the one skill that truly helps them. Every time they climb that ladder, it turns into a routine and a part of their life. Focusing on one thing at a time and working on that one job until it's done is a big part of learning all the time. You also have to train yourself not to do anything else or let emails, bells, bits, noises and other things like that confuse you. Being able to focus on one thing like a laser beam is all it takes. Napoleon Hill wrote a book after Think and Grow Rich. It's called The Master Key to Riches and it tells you the answer in 260 pages. In the first paragraph he says, in this book you will learn the master key to riches. So, the whole book is full of motivational ideas and principles. The last line of the last chapter on the last page says, now you know the master key to riches is self-discipline, and we've found that's also what the most successful people have found. Making yourself follow through is the key to success. It basically said, whatever got you to where you are today is not enough to keep you there. To go any further, you must develop new skills. And new skills, your whole life, for all time. If you want to be successful in a world where knowledge and technology are changing quickly, as well as government policies and competition, you must also change quickly and even more quickly on the inside. So, the best people are always learning new things. The speaker said, everything is hard before it's easy and everything is hard at first. But later, it becomes easy and automatic. You have to discipline yourself at first, but after that, it gets easier and easier 
and you feel happy. Now, here's the best part. When you discipline yourself to start and finish a task or part of a task, you feel like an athlete. So, let me ask you this. What do people call a runner who wins a race? Right on, the winner. I've studied this for a very long time. It says that endorphins, which are sometimes called nature's happy drug, are released by your body when you win. Plus, they give you adrenaline, which is a type of energy that comes from having a good time. So, when you finish the job, these drugs leave your body, making you happy. That's why they call it nature's happy drug. If you want to be happy, just start and finish a task, and you'll feel great. In fact, I ask people in some of my seminars, what are you learning today? Or, what are you working on today? And everyone should be able to answer, today I'm working on strategy, today I'm working on sales, today I'm working on presentations, and today I'm working on building teams. Everyone should be learning something new. Now we're back to what I call the basics. And yes, we can't change the world, but we can always find our way back to the things that help us hold on. And I believe there are three main points. Their name comes from the old story about Vince Lombardi when he was in charge of the Green Bay Packers. People asked him, are you going to change the running plays, blocking plays, bring in a new game book, etc.? He replied, no. He said, we're not going to do anything different. We're going to become the best running, blocking, passing and kicking team in football. We're going to become brilliant.